Steve, do you mind giving us an overview of your company and your brands? Absolutely. Uh, VF Corporation is a 120-year-old um, enterprise um, focused on the, in the apparel and footwear segment. Um, some of the brands you might know would be our Vans business. It's our largest um, and fastest growing today. The North Face, Timberland, Dickies, our, our most recent acquisition, and then smaller brands like Icebreaker, Smartwool, Ultra, Napa Piri. Uh, but all, you know, really focused on a, on a global consumer um, with a very specific uh, lifestyle, you know, that our brands help to define. So your company has experienced a lot of change recently. Uh, you've had a spin-off of Contour Brands, and uh, you've moved, you're moving your headquarters to Denver. We are. How do you keep your employees focused on your mission during that? Change is not something um, you know that we, you know, we look um, at in a negative way. In fact, we embrace it because um, with change, over this 120 years that we've been in business, our company has evolved um, at very key points in our history to remain relevant and remain focused on where the consumer marketplace was growing. So we set a very clear objective of what we were doing in reshaping our portfolio, um, specifically with a spin, and you know our, why we were choosing to relocate our brands to Denver, Colorado. And with those objectives and those and guiding principles against each one of those projects and project management teams uh, focused on just driving the execution and helping you know, our people move through the different actions, um, we've arrived on the other side in, in a very strong way. You know, the spin has been executed. Our Contour Brands um, is now, you know, trading on its own. And the move to Denver has begun. And, uh, you know, the energy level, you know, that we see in Denver of our brands coming together, our corporate leaders, you know, co-locating with these brands, it's really exciting to see. One of the things that you had said uh, that's in, in your company's mission is that you, you want to be purpose-led, yes. focusing on sustainability and the outdoors. Uh, can you describe why you've decided to focus on this path? Consumers are looking for brands that stand for something more than just product. But more importantly, we know that employees, uh, current employees and future employees, are looking at companies where they can bring their own personal purpose you know, to life. So we embarked um, on a journey you know, two and a half years ago to begin to define what is VF's purpose. And through that work, uh, where we really went from the bottoms up and top down, talked to all regions of our company, all levels, all different functions, and engaged you know, close to 2,500 people in helping us define what our purpose is. And that purpose is that we power movements of sustainable and active lifestyles for the betterment of people and the planet. And we created a rather large kind of overarching purpose that will allow our brands to come up into that overarching vision and through their actions um, activate towards the consumer. And at an enterprise level, we focus in the outdoors around a platform called Outdoor Matters. We focus around the active space around a platform called Free to Be. And we focus in the work category around a, a set of actions called Worthy Work. And each one of those are very specific to those consumers, specific to those brands, and we drive activations specifically you know, to really raise you know, the, the why uh, to, to why VF exists and what we do every day, driving products and experiences to enhance you know, the lives of our consumers. What do you do if your company ever faces a conflict or a trade-off between social responsibility and profits? And could you give an example of that happening? Now, that is a great question. And I will tell you, as we rolled out our purpose, that was one of the first questions our employees asked of our leadership team. You know, that when faced with that question, you know, what would we do? Uh, would we move, you know, towards the financial side of that equation? Or would we stay, you know, true to our commitment to be purpose-led? And the way we've answered that is that it's neither an either or an or. Um, it is really an and. And we look at all of our decisions now through the lens of purpose. Does this drive forward you know, our vision of who we intend to be? And does it, does it benefit our shareholder? Is there a financial return you know, that you know, our shareholders would, would be comfortable with? Um, but I think probably the, most, probably the easiest one to wrap your head around would be our decision uh, to support um, you know, a North Face campaign last year um, that was around, you know, you know, the whole area that uh, walls are meant for climbing. And uh, it's an outdoor-focused brand. 
climbing walls are deeply embedded in its history, and we, and we looked at whether we should take a position that could be interpreted from a political point of view, or you know, should we um, take, take a step back and, and, and not put ourselves into that position. We needed to allow our North Face brand to make a position around walls were meant for climbing, specific to what it means to the outdoors, specific what it means to inclusion and in diversity, and celebrating um, each one of us as individuals and being free to be. Do you believe that capitalism is in crisis? If so, what specifically can VF do to address this crisis? I do not personally believe that capitalism is in crisis. I think we are in the midst of more of a, of a, of a social crisis, you know, where we as a, as a community, specifically in the United States, have gone to the edges and uh, we are struggling um, through really, I think, the actions of our leaders, um, and people who are in position who have the responsibility to pull people together, to have conversations to celebrate our differences, to find the commonalities and strike a balance in the conversations that drive our, our nation and uh, you know, our enterprises forward. And I, I firmly believe, and this is why we are so committed to being purpose-led, corporate America is really has the position and the opportunity to be the leader and step forward and through the power of our employees and a collective vision around what drives us from a purpose you know, standpoint, we can be those change agents that bring people back together, back to the middle, have the conversations, celebrate our differences, and recognizes that you know, we all won't win, but if we can agree on a common vision, we can drive ourselves forward um, in a very successful path.